The most common test to assess a thyroid gland is a thyroid ultrasound. Here we see another example of this test. In these images, Doppler imaging also checks for blood flow through the gland. Once again, we orient ourselves by finding the trachea and a vessel, in this case the internal jugular vein. We can also clearly see the isthmus of the gland. These images from VH dissector show the intact thyroid gland and its relationship to the musculature, the trachea, and the esophagus. In this image, we see a nodule which is measured at 1.7 centimeters. Look carefully at these images from the thyroid gland in the VH dissector cadaver. Notice that the right lobe is inhomogeneous compared to the left. Again, orient yourself. The internal jugular vein, the trachea, and the right lobe are clearly seen here. Bringing these views again to VH dissector, we once again orient ourselves and notice that the internal jugular vein lies much more lateral than the carotid artery which lies more posterior in these images. Here, this vessel is most likely the internal jugular vein, although because it's not compressible, we're not sure. Here in these images, the ultrasonographer has moved her probe to give us a sagittal image, and she's labeled it accordingly. It says right sagittal. It's important to understand the orientation of the probe so that you can eventually understand the photos. Here we see another nodule, this one in the upper portion of the left thyroid gland. Notice here that the ultrasonographer has moved her probe now to the left lobe of the gland. We know because the trachea is medially. Again, we reorient ourselves with the anatomy by looking at the VH dissector image. Here, the ultrasonographer has turned on her Doppler probe to measure blood flow. If these were actually color images, we could identify the vessels. Again, this vessel is internal jugular, we know this from the anatomy, but need compression to verify. In this image, the ultrasonographer has labeled the image as the isthmus, but we know this because we can readily identify the trachea, the isthmus, and portions of the left lobe and the right lobe. Here, the final VH dissector image shows the relationships of the trachea to the esophagus left and right lobes.